I was watching the Netflix show The Queen's Gambit when I spotted a mysterious vintage camera. That's it, honey. Hold it up so we can see it. Tell me, Elizabeth, have you ever heard of something called apophenia? Sometimes people with this condition get feelings of revelation or ecstasies. Sometimes people find patterns or meaning where there aren't any. Hmm. What does that have to do with me? Well, creativity and psychosis often go hand in hand. Okay, now that we have a good view of the camera, let's analyze the timeline of the show. On the same year, a giant camera prop was used for a performance of a young music band called The Beatles. The prop had the look of a new Japanese 45mm film camera that was going to be an international bestseller. Life magazine photographer was maybe influenced by the Beatles, but at the timing of the interview, this camera was a must-have. Now that we identify the camera, what about the lens? If we check the portrait printed later in the magazine, we can determine that the focal length of the lens is around 50 mm. The photo shoot is also taking place in a dark room, so the photographer will need a lens that let a lot of light in. The Super Takumara 50mm f1.4 is one of the most amazing low-light portrait lens ever made, and was produced by Pentax to be used on the Spotmatic camera. So here we have our mysterious camera. The Spotmatic with the Super Takumara 50mm f1.4. Let's do a Queen's Gambit filmed photo shoot using the Spotmatic and black and white film, and then adapt the lens on a digital camera. As Beth visits Paris in the show, we will shoot in the center of Paris.
the lens creates a beautiful organic bokeh and gives warm colors due to its radioactive coating. When I was a girl, I wasn't allowed to be competitive. I played with dolls. Chess isn't always competitive. No, but you play to win. Yes, but chess can also be... What? Beautiful. I would highly recommend getting the lens, but also the camera, that is even today one of the most easy to use and durable M42 film camera on the market. If you want to see more behind the scenes and mini tutorials, please follow me on Instagram.